Okay, guys. So we have already seen uh, the important in important infectious properties of Haemophilus uh, influenza, and also we have seen uh, the treatment. Uh, also, have seen the pathogenesis of that. Now, in this video, we'll be talking about the treatment a little bit about treatment of Haemophilus influenza. Now, for the treatment part, Haemophilus in influenza, as we all know, that they can cause diseases like uh, milder kind of disease like. Uh, epiglottitis or sinusitis like that and obviously uh, sometimes they can also cause da dangerous kind of disease like meningitis right now usually uh, we are more worried about the disease meningitis so for that reason we need to provide something which will cure this uh, disease meningitis okay and which will kill bacteria like uh, hemophilus species from growing inside right now for that reason usually this this uh, due, due to the infection of hemophilus influenza many meningitis patients uh, were dead in early days early days right like before 1960s 1980s 1970s at that particular time but after developing uh, of a vaccine this particular meningitis outbreak by hemophilus species is getting reduced so what we develop we develop here a vaccine Right, the vaccine we developed in this case is called PRS. I guess it's called poly polyribose phosphate or PRP vaccine. It is called PRP vaccine, or uh, it is named as the full form is polyribose phosphate. Polyribose phosphate polyribose phosphate vaccine okay now what do you mean by this polyribose phosphate vaccine actually if you remember the structure uh, of hemophilus influenza we can see something like that so there are bacteria like uh, amorphic structure like that which is having a coat outside right which is having a capsular coat outside now this capsule that we have already seen we have discussed about this is called capsular region right so this capsule we have seen this capsule is made up with it is made up with polyribose sugar so this it is it is actually made up with carbohydrates you all all know that you all know that made up with carbohydrates usual carbohydrates but here uh, the carbohydrate we are seeing are ribose not the other kind these are ribose right ribose are simply pentose type of sugar which is having five carbon ring a structure kind of like that which is present also in DNA and RNA things so ribose sugar so there are polyribose that means many ribose will uh, be attached together to make this kind of capsular structure right now uh, what we do in case of the vaccination we simply cut some of the section out from here so we take this capsular segment so what we take so let me write we take uh, this polyribose polyribose capsule and what we do capsule segment actually and what we do here we attach it with a carrier protein with a carrier protein okay so we attach it with a carrier protein now this particular construction with a polyribose capsule with a carrier protein we call this whole thing as we call this whole thing as our prp vaccine call it a prp vaccine or this is also used or termed as a hemophilus influenza vaccine now this vaccine we can use to 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 kill uh, not not actually kill the use of vaccine is to prevent the disease because this vaccine will help development of our immune system so that in future if this particular bacteria infect us our immune system is already been prepared for that okay but if the infection is onset in those cases what we can do in those cases we can use antibiotics for the treatment we can use antibiotics so let me come uh, so we can use antibiotics now among this antibi sorry among the antibiotic part among the antibiotics part what we can use we can use uh, among penicillins we can use ampicillin so let me write we can use ampicillin Okay, and we can also use cefotaxim among the cephalosporins. We can use cefotaxim. So let, let me write. We can use cefotaxim. Remember, cefotaxim is a third-generation cephalosporin, or we can also use ceftriaxone. 
or you can use safe triax zone triax zone okay or among the other type of antibiotics you can use trimethoprim and all these things okay and in those cases who, who the personnel handling with the vaccines handling with this prp vaccines in those cases we usually treat them with rifampin we usually treat, treat them with rifampin okay so usually with rifampin so these are the different modes of treatment uh, to stop these diseases because uh, and all the different type of uh, hemophilus influenza hemophilus species as we have as we already discussed that those things uh, this capsular thing is important because this capsule is antigenic in nature it's immunogenic it will develop into uh, it, it will help developing immune system so that's why they are called immunogenic in nature so if we use them as a production of, for the production of vaccine it will be called a subunit vaccine because we are utilizing a subunit of a bacterial cell to produce vaccine right so th this prp vaccine is a kind of subunit vaccine right it's kind of subunit vaccine okay and another thing is that this capsular part is important because it is giving the mo one of the most important virulent factors to the bacterial cell so depending upon the type of capsule and type of sugars that are present in capsule the different type of bacteria varies right now usually uh, depending upon the different uh, chemical nature of this capsule we can have different like like hemophilus influenza b Hemophilus influenza A and so on, right? And among these different different types of hemophilus influenza bacteria, hemophilus influenza B or HIB is the most virulent one. This is the dangerous one because this type of influenza usually causes uh, meningitis, right? So, so in those cases, we need to take up uh, the capsular part from HIB and then we can prepare uh, this PRP vaccine. Okay. So that's in a sense is uh, the treatment part and I hope it's helpful. Thank you.